Thanks for clicking on this video. Uh, my name is Daniel. I am the founder of Fasting Dice. I have lost over 170 pounds in the past 10 months. And if you are clicking on this video, chances are you are also looking to do something similar and are looking for some strategies that I employed to get that done. Um, I want to talk about the mindset it takes to create something, to achieve something like that. And it's really, it, it's not magic, it's it's work, but, you know, I want to give you some ideas and things that I went through to get me to this point. And as I continue to move forward in my weight loss and wanted to, you know, maybe something will, will click for you and help you out. And, and that's the goal here. So um, make sure that you watch the whole video. I've got five different ways to help you out. And uh, the last one is was the game changer for me, so, you know, hopefully that helps you. Number one. But uh, the first thing we have to talk about, uh, the first thing to help you really establish that mindset to achieve that goal is going to be to know the fact that it's not going to be easy. And you really have to understand that it's not going to be easy. Yesterday, you said tomorrow, so just do it! And I know that there's a lot of marketing out there that talks about, you know, take these pills or, or do this workout or, or do this, do that. And that somehow that will magically make it all uh, fixed. Hush, it's magic time. Um, it's not, there, there is no magic. If there was magic, um, that's what everyone would do, right? There's, that's why there's so many different diets, plans and exercises and workout routines. And side again. Because one, there's no one solution, but two, it, it's, it takes work. It just takes work. So you have to know deep down that it's not going to be easy, but it will be worth it if you really want it. Which brings me to my second point. If you need a friend, you know what to do. You can count on me, cause I'm the number two. It's going to work, but only if it hurts enough. And what I mean by that is this. Okay, there's a uh, there's an allegory of a, of a dog, right? And the dog is laying on the floor, and there's like an exposed nail on the floor. And the dog is kind of laying up against the nail. And someone tells the owner, hey, your, your dog is laying up against that nail. Your dog is going to get hurt. And the owner says, oh, no, he... He'll move when he wants to, but right now it doesn't hurt enough, so he hasn't moved yet. So sometimes that's what it takes, right? The the whole idea of hitting rock bottom. No, no, no. It's, it's Rod's turn with the rock bottom. You you have to whatever it is you're going through, sometimes it has to hurt enough before we actually move. That's just a human thing. It's what we do. I, I wish it wasn't the case, but it got that case with me, right? Like I didn't make major life changes until I was laid up in a hospital three weeks in an end of life room, right? It had to hurt enough before I made changes and, and it finally did. The third thing to consider to, to really focus on that mindset, to really get you towards either if it's weight loss, if it's goal setting, whatever it is that you're after, uh, you know, specifically weight loss in my case, but you know, who knows for you. Number three. The, the thing you have to really think about is you have to get angry. And what I mean by that is not like some blinding rage, but there's something that happens with anger, right? Uh, especially when it's towards our situations. There's a part of us deep down within us that knows that whatever it is we're going through, we don't deserve that, that we are better than that situation. And so we get angry. And we get angry about it. And anger is good. Anger makes changes sometimes. So you got to get angry. You got to get angry. You have to really take a good hard look at yourself and, and your situation and decide, are you angry enough to change it? Or does it hurt enough? Do you, do you not care that it's not going to be easy? Are you willing to put in the work? So if you're angry, then you will move forward. 
the uh, the next thing, the next step, the, the thing that helped me with my mindset. Four. Is I had to realize something. Um, it's common, especially in the beginning, that you will have setbacks and failures. And those can be very, very devastating and very um, demoralizing. And one thing I had to learn for myself was that I had to look at those as opportunities to learn. And I know that sounds cheesy, but what that means is if you are, let's say you're on a, like in my case, I did intermittent fasting, right? Um, I had to realize that I couldn't cheat the fasting. I couldn't like take a nibble here and there because my, my weight loss would stall out if I did that. So I had to learn from that failure and realize I can't do that. And so that's what it took, right? I had to, to keep an idea and, and I, I wrote a journal down, like uh, things I would do and I would learn from them, right? Like, uh, like it, when, I, when I did eat, when, uh, when I wasn't fasting, what foods could I eat and still keep going in my weight loss? What foods would stall it out? And, and I would learn from that. And, and those failures would ultimately help me uh, better fine tune my methods and and fine tune my progress and just keep going and marching along. That's how I got to 170 pounds down in 10 months. Right, I was diligent about mar about watching it and getting there. And you can do the same same thing. And if you're listening to that and saying that, that sounds like a lot of work, then you don't want it bad enough. It, you you don't you're not angry enough and and it hasn't hurt enough. So if that sounds like a lot of work and that's what you're thinking, then then you might as well shut off the video because you don't want it yet. But let's get to the last one. This is the one that really changed things for me. This is the one that um, really just flipped things around. You know, there's there's the old saying, how, how do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. Right? Um, same thing, like I've got a lot of weight to lose. I still have a lot more to go, but I'm doing it, right? But but the way I go about that is I set many goals for myself, right? Every, for me, every, every uh, 30 to 40 pounds that I lose, I give myself a reward. And the reward is not food-based at all. So um, past rewards I've given myself is, you know, uh, when I hit my first marker, um, a reward that I that I gave myself was uh, I bought I bought a, a DVD that I really wanted. Um, other rewards that I have done in the past is because I I have um, because I lost so much weight uh, I'll buy myself a new shirt or a new jacket something something along those lines. So non food based but something that that definitely I, I want and I feel that would um, you know make me feel like I've accomplished something. Uh, future rewards that I have going, uh, I would like to get a new car stereo, right? Uh, I just want to get a new one. So um, that's going to be a future reward for myself, uh, hopefully within the next few months. And um, yeah, it, it's stuff like that. Um, you know, uh, sometimes a reward is I get to go to the movies and, and I, because I love going to the movies. That's that's like my, my jam. But you know, whatever works for you, right? If it's, if it's, uh, hanging out with a friend, if it's going to an event, um, you know, take this opportunity as you're making these life changes to discover new things about yourself, right? Um, like for me, I have discovered a, a really uh, deep love for lifting weights. Like I, I just really enjoy it. And so I, I go almost like six to seven days a week and, and it's fun. And I just, you know, I, I throw on my headphones uh, I personally, I listen to podcasts and audiobooks. I'm that guy, but, uh, it's just, it, it's therapeutic for me at this point and, and I really enjoy it. So if you're looking to have that mindset, to make those goals, to, to lose weight, absolutely. You can do it. Just remember, it's not going to be easy, right? It's got to hurt enough and you got to get angry, but once you're there, just make sure you learn from your failures and that you have your mini goals and you establish your rewards. Sometimes on, what I did is I laid out all my mini goals on a big piece of paper. I put um, my current weight, what weight I would be at once I reached that goal, 
and then just progressively as I would march down weights what I would be and then each one I slided a, a reward and, and that way I knew okay when I get to that 40 that's what I'm gonna get and, and that helped that helped move it forward ultimately too it was like a it's not as big of a, a thing right you're not trying to lose you know 200 300 pounds in in you know that's the mindset you're just like 20 30 40 pounds at a time and you're just marching along and so i totally believe in you you can absolutely do it uh if you have more questions you know feel free to follow the channel i've got a lot of videos up uh talking about different things about fasting that that's what worked for me uh, i even developed fasting dice which is designed to help you stick to your fasting uh, it also helps uh, prevent um uh, stagnation by changing up your fasting windows and eating windows it, it doesn't uh, it helps prevent your body from adapting to uh, you know a continuous routine so uh, if you're interested in that fastingdice.com uh, I also have resources there to help you out I even have a, a guide that talks about some of the actual techniques that I used to help lose 170 pounds that guide is free you can just put in your email address and get that um, thank you so much for watching this and I hope you have a great day.